<laughs> oh man, we got some lit Nintendo news today. Oh, we have our cow! Reggie Pizza Man! <laughs> OV1 plays? Yes, right. What's up? Hello, All right. OV1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing this is actually my second time doing this video i had some audio problems first time uploading this video but we have a couple of dope nintendo switch news items as you can see we have the red background i'm going to this is sort of a channel update i really do channel updates well i do every now and then but i will be having more uh, nintendo focused content on my channel hey I platinum all my PS5 games. Uh, I'm waiting for Kino Bridges Spirit at the end of August. But there are a couple of dope Nintendo news items I've been meaning to talk about, wanting to. And for those of you that know, my channel is a Nintendo channel. At its heart, I started off as a Nintendo channel. Just Nintendo be doing some stuff and be like, man, what y'all doing, man? But let's get to the news. Also, 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 um, because of the Nintendo, I want to say reboot, but... The Nintendo content that we'll be pumping out on the channel more. I will be doing a um, Switch OLED giveaway if if I can get my hands on two consoles. If I can get my hands on a second console, I will do a giveaway. You have to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and following me on Twitter. And so in October, when the console comes out, you'll be locked and loaded, ready to go. We have two dope switch nintendo not switch but nintendo items because one of them is not switch related the first one bro zelda has just broken a crazy record money a zelda nes cartridge has sold for a world record eight hundred and seventy thousand dollars this was um, reported by Heritage Auctions. They have broken the previously held record of a Super Mario NES, cart uh, NES cartridge that sold for 660000 And so the new world record, this was a 1987 sealed, never opened before Zelda cartridge sold 870000 That's almost a million dollars, bro. Uh, back in the day, Zelda had those gold cartridges. They had it on the Super Nintendo, too. I mean, the NES. NES, I remember NES. Was the Super Nintendo? No, the Super because mine is gray. I still have my original uh, Link to the Past cartridge. But um, that's crazy, crazy, crazy news. And the next news item, pretty, pretty dope. Nintendo Switch OLED hands-on impressions. That's right. There were three big outlets that were able to get hands-on time with the Switch. One notable one was IGN, and they had some interesting conclusions after playing the console hand, um, hands-on. The first thing they said was, the screen really makes a difference. Surprisingly, they said the OLED, the OLED screen, the, um, the, 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 decrease in the bezel size just the larger screens larger screen space really made a difference and you could see it in handheld mode now they did make it clear that at the end of the day <coughs> it has the same internal specs as your current switch as the current switch model the only thing that's really 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 of notice is the screen the screen the screen the screen i will do another video on the switch pro and what i think what i know nintendo is going to be doing with the switch pro so stay tuned for that but um the switch oled they were able to get hands on everything else they said pretty much feels the same uh the same joy cons um 
there are a couple things that have changed of course and i never really did my a, a video just focused on my thoughts and impressions of the switch oled model like i said that's why i want to do more nintendo content so what i did let's compare all three switch models on the market right now switch oled the current the regular switch and the switch Lite, and see the big noticeable differences and should you upgrade to a switch oled first off compatible games all the games work the same on all consoles except for the switch Lite. they're like a handful of games not compatible joy cons all compatible joy cons all compatible all right um nintendo switch dock <coughs> as you can see the big change with the dock is the ethernet port in the back which is a big w i have the ethernet adapter but come on nintendo <coughs> every console comes with the ethernet port and so the switch oled does the dock does have an ethernet port and if you notice on the back of the dock there is uh, ventilation, which I have a, a, a hypothesis, which I really don't think they're doing it. But the Tegra is really being underclocked for the Switch. Maybe the Switch OLED in that dock will allow Nintendo to overclock it a little more with more heat. Uh, room in the back. I doubt it. I think that's more of a response to when the Switch, the original Switch first launched, some switches were warping and cracking doing to heating in the dock and so i think that's why they have that vent as a remedy to that all right as far as size both the switch oled and the switch regular are almost the same size the switch oled comes in at 9.5 inches long whereas the current switch model is 9.4 inches so it's slightly wider but the screen is what is significant. 7.0, a seven inch screen compared to a 6.2 screen on the regular Switch and a 5.5 on the Switch Lite. So the Switch OLED screen is the star of the show. It's going to be a lot more screen space to play your games in handheld mode. As far as weight, Switch OLED is 0.93 pounds, regular Switch is 0.88, so it is slightly heavier. It makes sense because of that OLED screen. Storage, 64 gigabytes, it doubles the gigabytes. Now, for those of you that have been following me for a while, I have a one terabyte micro SD card in my Switch. So even if it was still 32 gigabytes, I'm good. I'm good with um, space, I never have to worry about it. I got a one terabyte micro SD card and my Switch still is almost full. All right battery life battery life is another w it's the same battery now it's coming with a larger screen but the same battery life 4.5 to 9 hours of battery life which i think nintendo has nailed it uh, nailed it nailed it so at the end of the day i think the switch oled is going to be your preference um, do you want to have a better um, switch screen? Um, then go for it. I have to be honest. If I wasn't like a YouTuber and stuff, I probably wouldn't pick it up, but I probably will. I'll probably trade in one of my older switches to get this uh, minimal cost. But again, again, I am going to um, try to get two so I can do a giveaway on the channel. Giveaway on the channel, Nintendo Switch OLED model. Make sure you're subscribed subscribe and make sure you're following me on twitter and so what do you guys think about it um and this is launching on the same day as metroid dread you can already see the white joy cons and everything the same color as the theme of metroid dread this is launching on the same day i'm calling it from now metroid dread will be the best selling metroid game ever it's happened with every switch game all right what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro 
click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things men. Ten. Dope. We out. Boy.